how to reach your goal how to understand your goal how to understand what you really want and um, how to prioritize your goal in, in order to achieve it as soon as possible hi guys my name is elena semenek and this is my youtube channel psychology of happiness welcome if you're new to my channel please subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments if you like it and uh, let me know what topics would you like me to cover next because on my channel i share information on a wide variety of topics self-esteem self-confidence money relationships how to reach your goal how to make your dreams come true so name any topic and i will be happy to share my knowledge i've been in psychology more than 15 years i've um, learned different methods different theories and i have huge experience Personally, I probably took about 300 hours of therapy, maybe another 300 hours of workshops and different online courses, and I have my own practice. I uh, do private sessions, group sessions, so I know <laughs> answers to most of your questions. Of course, not to all, but I'm sure that, you know, if you have a question, I will do my best to find an answer for you so you can be uh, happier and more successful in life okay let's go back to the topic so today i would like to share with you a technique uh, that will help you to understand yourself first to figure out what is your main goal what do you want um, to do you in life today i would like to offer you a practice an exercise that will help you first to prioritize your goals to prioritize your dreams because sometimes we think that we want one thing but in reality we want something else so this exercise will help you to put everything you know where it's supposed to be and then the second part of this exercise will help you to figure out what actions you need to take in order to achieve your goals and also do the prioritizing thing in your actions uh, it's gonna be very simple and clear just you know stay with me okay so first you need to take a notebook or you know any any blank paper and write 10 things that you want in your life so it can be like this i want a new car i want to have a new job i would like to go on vacation to Hawaii, I need a new purse, I would like to work uh, uh, less, uh, I would like to have, you know, one more day off during my week, I would like to go to masseuse every week, so you need to write down 10 dreams, or 10 wishes, or 10 goals. Uh, if you don't know what you want, just write down anything that comes to your mind. I would like to go to a new Italian restaurant. I would like to be invited to a television show. I would like to visit a concert of uh, this artist and like anything that comes to your mind. If you stop, for example, uh, let's say I have a goal. I would like to get 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. So, and then it's like, okay, so what do I want? everything I, everything else i have i have a great husband i have a family i have we travel a lot so like i really you know i i want I, I have everything so i don't really know what i want so then i will ask my question so let's assume that i have fifty thousand subscribers on my youtube so what is next let's assume okay so if i have fifty thousand subscribers then probably i want to have one hundred thousand subscribers so this is goal number two and then you keep asking yourself, then I will say, okay, so once I get like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, what do I want? Then probably I would like to open my own podcast and I would like to have a small show on the radio. So every time when you ask yourself, uh, what do I want after I reach that, you can get a new ideas. So the first step of this exercise to write at least 10 goals so once you have 10 goals the next thing is prioritize your goals so now you look at this list and you say okay out of 10 things what do i really really want and you say okay probably probably 
I really want a new car. I don't really want new subscribers. I don't really want, you know, to travel. I really want a new car. So my new car is going to be number one. Then you ask yourself, okay, what is next? So probably the next thing I want to go travel. I want to travel. I don't want to work. I want to go travel. So number two, you need to put numbers from one to 10. So you have the priorities. And this is your list of priorities. This is how you can hear your inner voice. And this is how you can analyze your own desires, your own wishes. But please be honest with yourself. Don't do this because you want to be a good girl, a good boy. Don't do this because this is socially like, okay, so the goal to help others is something that's socially acceptable, socially alluring. So I want to be a good person. No, you know, be honest to yourself. Nobody's going to read your paper. It's only you. When you have your goals, you turn your page over and you write the goal number one, the one that was the priority one, like right? the, the prioritized goal, the most important one on top. I want a new car. And then you have to write 20, 20, 20 things that you can do that will bring you closer to your goal. This is the hard part. And uh, you will need some time to think about until you get um, 20 things. So, for example, in order for me to get a new car, I need maybe number one, cut my spendings. And then uh, I can even be more specific. So, for example, I can say, okay, in order for me to buy a new car, yes, I need some, I can get a, you know, a loan and I can pay monthly, but at least I need some deposit. So I need to know, first of all, what car do I want? Second of all, I need to save some money. So number one, I can say, I need to cut my spendings. And maybe one of my spendings is going to be a beauty salon. Maybe I will not go to manicure and pedicure every week. Maybe I will go every other week. For you, it might be different. Number two, you can say, okay, first of all, I need to figure out which car do I want. So I need to go test drive BMW. Number three, I need to go to test drive Lexus. Number four, I need to go to test drive Infinity, number four, four steps, right? So I need to know which steps will bring me closer to my goal. Next one, number five, what do I need to do? I need to get maybe, you know, some gig or some side job, maybe part-time, two, three hours a day, and money that I'm going to make will go towards my car, towards the deposit of my car. Or maybe for you, it will be, okay, every month I will put... 10% of money that I make towards the deposit of my car. And I will do it for the next six months. Then you might say, okay, I need to pay attention to the special offers that's, that's going to be, you know, in the next three, four, six months so I can find a really good deal. Then you can say, okay, you know, I have a friend who is really good with cars. I need to call him and ask him, how can I get a new car? Maybe he can help me to get not a new car. Maybe it's going to be a one-year-old car with a few miles on it, like almost new, but I can get like, you know, 10 or 20% discount on it. So you have to write down 20 things. Does that mean that you're going to do all 20? No, that's an exercise. You're going to write down 20 things that you can do to get closer to your goal. Next step. Step number three, right? So step number three is to look at your list. So now you have 20 things. You need to look at your list and you need to figure out which step will take less of your effort, but bring you closer, but get more beneficial towards getting your goal. So, for example, with an example of the car, right? So, which one of those 20 actions yeah, I can do in order to spend less time, less money, less, less energy and get closer to my goal? And you can say maybe the easiest way that will bring me closer to my goal 
would be to call my friend before I'm gonna do test drive, before I'm gonna, you know, um, put some savings. Maybe I can call my friend and at least see what options do I have. Maybe, I, maybe he can get me a deal with zero deposit down, right? So when you have a list, and remember when I was, uh, you know, trying to write down, write down 20 things, Calling my friend was maybe thing number 11. So don't underestimate yourself. Write 20 things. There is a reason why you need 20 because some obvious things might not, you know, come to us right away. That's why you need a list of 20 things. So, and you can say, okay, so this is what I need to do. I need to call my friend first. And the last step is to look through your list and see which step can you do every day which will take maybe small amount of effort but bring you a little bit of result so something easy that you can do something that will not take much time but uh, little by little small steps matter right so little by little you can get closer to the result that you want and in the my example with the car the smallest thing would be probably you know taking a gig and uh, spend additional one hour every day working on the side and making some money. Or maybe a small step would be to check out uh, daily deals and see what options do I have. Maybe, you know, if I will check daily deals every day, you know, in two weeks I will know which dealership has the best offers or maybe which company has the best offers, which company, was, which car brand is more, more flexible in order for me to get a new car. So this is your blueprint. This is how you can figure out what you really want and what steps you need to take to get closer to your goal. Please let me know in the comments if this video was helpful, if you um, understand the, you know, which steps you need to take and try something like it's clear, Thank you. I got it. I'm going to do it. So give me some feedback or even put a thumbs up, you know, so I know that, you know, I'm explaining it well and it's clear for you. Let me know if you're okay with that. Share your goals with me. I will be happy to read about your goals because when I read about your goals, it gives me an idea of new videos that I can create in order to help you to achieve your goal. If your goal is to make more money, I will create more videos about money. If your goal is to become confident in yourself, then I will create videos about self-confidence. If your goal is to uh, stop fighting with your spouse, then I will do more videos about relationships. So let me know your feedbacks will help me to help you to become happier, healthier, and more successful in life. And remember that every time when you give like, subscribe, and share, you really, really, really help in my channel. And it motivates me to give you more. So I'm looking forward to seeing your likes, comments, shares, uh, and see you soon in my next video. Bye.